So a critical part of this movie is the red matter. So this red matter that gets dropped into various places <laughs> to make black holes. Um, but what is it? What is it? Prepare the red matter. Yes, sir. Okay, so this ball that like, floats. Yep. Very tense. And it, it like doesn't interact with matter. Like it avoids the needle. Mm-hmm. And then like, it floats on its own. Mm-hmm. Gravitational sensors are off the scale. They're creating a singularity. They're creating a black hole at the center of Vulcan? Yes, sir. How long does the planet have? Minutes, sir. Minutes. My god. Oh, super cool. Yeah. The black hole eats the planet. Whew, it's gone. All those Silence. Lines. Silence and a black dot in space. So my question is what what is this so it's making a black hole Mm -hmm. and so it's this red fluid somehow that that makes a black hole and i guess what is a black hole it's it's yes they come from supernovae so when a star collapses and there's just so much mass into a small area uh then it then gets a black hole um but actually you can make a black hole kind of with anything you just need to compress it down to a schwarzschild radius to a to Mm a a mass uh, you make take any you can take any here we go you can take a chocolate bar and make a black <laughs> hole if you can press it down to a small enough size. So um, I think so, I think for the Earth, the Schwarzschild radius is three centimeters. So take all of the mass of the Earth and crush it down to three centimeters. Here's one, so three yeah. centimeters, and then yeah, that'll make a black hole. Yeah, don't don't quote so, me on that, but it is absurdly small. Something like, like that. that. Yeah, you really don't. Yeah. You got to crush a lot of mass. Yeah, and so so that's my guess for what red matter is. It's a mass generator it's a mass creator you somehow drop it into place and then it creates mass and then the thing collapses so maybe it couples to the higgs boson something something i'm not high so, energy, high energy okay, okay 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 so that's a good idea so somehow in the containment field where it's in that big huge red ball on the ship mm-hmm. it's somehow su- let's i'm getting rolling with it it's somehow suppressing it's emitting it's a heavy Gib, uh, Higgs boson emitter, but the containment field somehow stops it from doing that. But when it's released into the planet, it emits so many Higgs bosons that the mass of the planet shoots up real quick, which causes a quick collapse. Right. Causes uh, this big gravitational anomaly because you've just, you've just created mass and mm-hmm. then collapse, I guess. Which means not only is the tech for the red matter super advanced because somehow they just... In the future, they figured out how to manufacture it, or mm-hmm. or just they discovered it. But the containment fluid itself is also super advanced, because okay. somehow that's stopping this chain reaction. Yeah, exactly right. It's somehow making this thing inert and independent by itself. But then, once you drop it in and it comes contact with the planet, yeah, then chain reaction generating mass mm-hmm. black hole. So that fluid must have some really really special properties exotic to be able to contain this like wildly powerful oh. material you mean the fluid like this this clear liquid yeah 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 ah oh, yeah yeah cuz without the clear liquid the red matter is useless cuz you can't store it right it'll just touch the walls of your container and start the chain reaction and start the chain reaction so but somehow they've alongside the red matter they've also got the red mat the anti red matter i guess which is clear it, matter it's not anti-red matter. It's a, a it's red matter neutral. nullifier. Yeah, there you go. That's even yeah. better. Because it's not so, anti. It's not destroying it. Right. It's just making it not do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, this is this is a real thing, right? With weapons and explosives and stuff. Mm-hmm. You want them to go bang when you want them to go bang, but you also need them to not go bang when you don't want them to go bang. So storage. Bang, bang, no. Not bang, not bang. Right. And actually, you like on ships and in storage things can go off when you don't want them to and that's bad so you Mm -hmm. want it to be like hyper inert when you don't want it to go bang and then like truly explosive when you turn hit hit the switch so red matter super overpowered but they also have the storage technology amazing under underrated underrated we always talk about the red matter but what about that transparent matter what about that transparent totally underrated yeah cool ship though look how much it's containing my god yeah so much you could destroy an entire alpha quadrant with this you take a little tiny drop and destroy a planet Mm -hmm. 
Why? Why? This is so much. What is the Vulcan Academy doing? My Just God. Take a little bit. Send the ship for a little bit. I mean, you have a storage facility for it, and if you only need a couple drops, the ship should only have a couple drops. Good point. Yeah, or maybe. Oh okay, gosh, what if what if Spock's <laughs> ship gets stolen? You don't want to be releasing all this red matter out into unknown hands, mm. <laughs> such as this. That's right. Oh my God. That's a mistake. That's a big mistake. Cool ship, though. Super cool ship. 